Hi everyone, Lori Marie here, mixed media artist in Vallejo, California. I just want you to know I'm back on the table and I'm having fun. <laughs> so I'm doing my board book. Uh, it is about Faye's. I can't decide whether it's going to be Finding Faye or Faye Finder. I'm not quite sure. I have to wait until the story comes together a little bit more. But um, my sense of humor is in full swing and I am having a blast. So, just got back from walking Mr. Hudson. Glasses are a little dark, um, but there you have it. So, get that board book uh, and your creativity and a sense of humor and see you on the table. Okay, we are playing in our board book. Uh, I am so enjoying mine, and this is our project for today to play with this page. Mica window on this side. So darn fun. A little door on this side. This guy better be careful. Looks like he's changing. So here's the beginning of the book, Finding Faye. Be careful. You may find what you are looking for. And I'm not going to um, tell you the story yet, but I do want to get a playful little window over on this side. So I'll trace that and cut that out with my X-Acto. I wanted to show the bird. So I'm going to say it's about right here. About right there. And cut that out with the straight edge of a ruler. And an exacto. So this window is about ready to pop out. Before I pop that out, I am going to put down a piece of the handcrafted paper that we made. I'm using tacky glue because with the texture paste on there. It's a little bit harder to get it to stick down and stay there. So I'm going to use the tacky glue for that. And I'm going to put two silhouettes on here, just like on this page, facing each other with the bird head. So I've traced two silhouettes on here using my template. I'll bring in a small brush and my black gesso and I will paint those two silhouettes. So I've made several copies of the bird head so I know that I don't have to paint all the way up. But I do have to paint up some. I'm continuing with the black gesso on the rubber stamp with the three blackbirds on every page. They're just in different places on the pages, but they're there. I'm going to go in and fill in some of the blanks of the bird. Alright, we're going to let that dry. Now another thing that I've been following from page to page is a bird feather. So I'm just going to put some glue on that and stick it to the page. Bird feather here, bird feather here, bird feather there. Just a fun little something something. Mm. Now this is going to go here, just like it did on the other page. But I have this piece of gold leaf, literally. <laughs> and I'm putting some gel medium on that, which will dry clear. Yeah. 
and put that there. I want it to be covered by the bird, so we shall see. I think that I think that'll be good. I think I just want this part though. Put some gel medium on the back of that bird head. And before we do anything else, we'll let that dry. When that's dry enough to play with, I'm going to go back in here and cut the things that I've added onto the book page using the line that I have cut from the other side. And remove that. Bring in a piece of sandpaper and just smooth out that edge a little bit. So that lines up very well. Bring in some stays on ink and just darken that edge a little bit. I'm bringing in a piece of mica. Mica is a mineral. You can cut it with a pair of scissors if you need to size it down. So it looks like I, I can attach it here, 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 and here. I'm going to do one hole at a time to hopefully prevent too much buckling. I'm going to use my smallest hole punch on my crocodile. And I will install that little eyelet with my crocodile. I do have a video on how to use a crocodile if you're not quite sure. I'll install the next one here, then here and then here, trying to keep the mica as flat as possible. All right, I put three small ones. This area is pretty built up with the layers and the tag, so a small one wouldn't work here, so I just put a large eyelet there, and yep, I'm okay with that. So I'm going to bring back the door, and I'm going to sand that down a bit. Because, why because? Because it will barely fit now. Once you take it out, they, it, it'll barely fit. So I'm going to size it down a little bit. All right, once I have it sanded down so I think it's going to fit, I'll just darken the edges with the stays on. So I'm gluing a little washer on the bottom of the door. That'll be the handle. Put some tacky glue on the hinges. Glue them in place on the door. Let those dry before I put that back in the book. Just do one side of the hinge at a time. While your hinge is drying, you can doodle on your page. I'm supposed, to, <laughs> I'm supposed to be in the kitchen fixing dinner. Handsome hubby is working on something something. I think he's building a door for his shed. I just want to see if these little brads... Oh uh, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'll remove these hinges, put some glue down. Oh yeah, this is great. And then the uh, little brads will help hold that in place. some tacky glue. Put our door in place. Put the brads back in there. Open them up. Tummy's growling. 
It knows it's supper time. Look at that. That is so fun. And we'll go eat dinner and let that dry. Good morning. Look what's all dry and gorgeous. Isn't this fun? Little ass or a little mica window in there. That is so fun. And I don't mind those little prongs sticking out. That doesn't bother me. Kind of fun. All right, your turn. Go create. Go play. Go have fun.